Connecticut Army National Guard. Today we have Karen Bryant here today to talk about the experience she's had with her two daughters joining the military. Hi, uh, I have two daughters that joined um, and one was way back in 2008 and I have one that just enlisted at only 17 years old last month. So your two daughters, what's the age difference between them? 17 years. Okay, so why did they make the decision to join the National Guard? Um, my oldest daughter made that decision because she really wanted college paid for. And she actually went to school for a year and I paid for that. And I said, okay, now you need to get some student loans. And she didn't want to. So she thought it was a good idea to join the military. But it became so much more than the college tuition. But that was initially why she did join. How did she hear about the, the guard? Um, I'm not really sure, probably in school. I remember when they had um, awards nights, they would have people that were joining the military with these big giant cardboard checks. Mm. And I think that's what sparked her interest at okay. first. So interestingly, like I grew up with Alyssa, your oldest daughter, and she's actually the reason that I joined the National Guard. We had a conversation one day at UConn and she kind of piqued my interest and was the reason that I ended up joining. So that's kind of funny that we're here today talking yeah. about Alyssa, who was the reason I joined, and then now talking about your youngest daughter, Haley, who just joined a few weeks ago. Right. Yeah. Um, so you said that it was much more for Alyssa. Well, it became much more. Um, she made lifelong friends. Um, she said that the biggest thing for her is that people look at her differently now. Mm -hmm. So she feels very respected as a soldier, even a former soldier. Mm -hmm. um, so it just gave her so much confidence and just made her feel good about herself. Yeah. And she actually has a master's degree, right? She does, yeah. and the guard paid for her master's degree. That's um, great. Yeah, so she's, she gained a lot, a lot of skills mm -hmm. that she didn't have, a lot of friends, everything. Do you remember what she, she did in the guard? Uh, she was a helicopter repair. So different person. from what she was going to school for. Yes, which was what, psychology. psychology. And then obviously different than what she does in her regular job today. But Right. Yeah. But still, all the experiences and, um, you know, the people really helped her push her to where she is today. Yeah, it's great. So what? What was Haley's um, journey? What did, why does she want to So try? Haley, now keep in mind, Haley grew up with a sister who was in the guard. So uh, she would emulate her whenever she could. I mean, she'd wear little FBI uniforms and police uniforms. And uh, she just always thought it was super cool. You know, she loved the camo and the, she'd carry around the big backpack and stuff and put on the big boots on her tiny little feet. So she just thought it was cool. So, but as time has gone on, you know, she's just thinking more about all the options that she has by joining the Guard. Yeah. So she may end up going to West Point. She may not. She may do ROTC at UConn. Um, she may work for the military full time like you, or she may finish after eight years like Alyssa and do something different. Mm -hmm. It just opens up so many doors for her. and. Um, a big thing I want to tell you is that I asked her very recently, um, if I won millions of dollars and I could pay for any college you wanted, you'd have no loans, would you still join the Guard? Didn't even hesitate. Yes, I would. Awesome. So even though she's only 17, this girl knows what she wants and she's going to do it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really proud of her, of both of them. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings up a good point. So she's 17 years old, so she needed your permission in order to join. Yes. Um, and when Alyssa joined, she was 18, so she didn't necessarily need your support. But, she did not. Um, and I didn't give it to her. <laughs> so what made it, what's the difference between now and then? Um, well, when Alyssa joined, I didn't know everything about it. Mm -hmm. Not that I know everything now, but I know a lot more than I did. Um, when Alyssa joined, I was just scared. I was a scared mom. You know, I, I didn't think about all the benefits. I just thought about the scary stuff. Yeah. And Alyssa had an amazing enlistment. She didn't have anything scary happen to her. She just, like I said, gained knowledge and skills and friends. Um, but that's all I could focus on. Mm -hmm. But after seeing how the guard transformed her into such a, you know, a, um, 
just well-educated, super confident, fierce woman, mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel great about it. Like, I, I wish I was more supportive in the beginning. Yeah. And um, Haley only being 17, I had to think about it. I had to say, okay, maybe I shouldn't sign for this. What if I sign for this and something happens? But in one year, is the kid who doesn't care about winning the lotto would still join? Is she going to change her mind about joining? No. So I'm giving her my full support this time and um, I feel a lot better about it. Of course, I'm still scared. I'm her mom. Right. I'm scared when she gets on the bus to go to school. Right. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Right. But um, to support her in it feels really good because she feels closer to me I'm in sure that it means way. The world to her yes. So I think supporting our kids is the number one thing that we can do as a parent. That's great. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's great. Um, my mom supported me too, you know, because she had that same mindset of you're going to do what you want to do. Right. I mean, I was 20 years old when I joined. Um, and she said, you know, I'm just here for you on this journey. So I think that's really important to have a parent's support in this, uh, in joining the military. It's a huge decision. It is. So, um, is there anything else that you think you would want to, any advice that you would give to a parent who may have to sign for parental consent or? Um, I mean, talk to your kids, make sure that they realize that this isn't going to be easy. It'll be worth it, but it won't be easy. There, um, there will be hard times for sure. I've been hearing stuff about kids in reception and how it's scary and they're upset. But then by the end of basic training, they feel great and they're, they're proud of themselves yeah. and they're, they're a new person. So as long as your kid really wants to do it and is focused on it, I think they should get your support. Given the chance, would either of your daughters have changed their path? Absolutely not. No. Alyssa always says it's the best thing she's ever done. Mm -hmm. And Haley's just super excited. She yeah. can't wait. She's like, bring it on, drill sergeant. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, stay tuned for um, <laughs> how Haley gets through basic training. And yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see what comes out of it and what she ends up doing with her future. Thank you. Me too.